Hey everyone, Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and today we're doing an unboxing, uh, really quickly really, of the uh, Zeus Republica Gamers Strix Radeon RX Vega 64. Um, just to sort of go through things really quickly, on the front of the box you get a first view of what the card's going to look like with its triple fan design and obviously Strix branding down here. Made by Zeus, it has Aura Sync because obviously everything is RGB now and it is the OC edition. So as we uh, turn the box around, you can see on the back that it just delves into some of the technologies around the card. So it is the RX Vega 64, another view of the card itself. Uh, it talks about the max contact technology, which is all to do with how the heat sink actually uh, makes contact with the GPU. A little bit about the patented fan design, about the Aura Sync, full RGB of course. Uh, a Zeus uh, Fan Connect 2, so just basically how it connects up um, using 4-pin. Uh, Auto Extreme technology, as well as some uh, information about the software as well. So I guess really we should just get straight into it and start unboxing it. So we have already actually done a live unboxing of this on our Facebook channel, so if you saw that, you were very lucky. Uh, but this is uh, for YouTube now. So inside you can see that we are greeted with another box with a Strix branding on the front. And then as we open that up, you can see we get this nice little uh, package inside with a Zeus branding on there. So if we open this up, you can see that inside we get a driver CD. Now, obviously, we always tell people never, ever, ever use the driver CD. So uh, never, ever, ever use a driver CD. Basically, depending on when the product was manufactured, it could be sitting around at a retailer in their stockpile for you know quite some time until someone buys it. Therefore, the drivers on the CD could be uh, the latest but more than likely they're going to be older generation drivers so your best bet in this case because it's made by AMD head over to amd.com and pick up the latest drivers if it's Nvidia then go to Nvidia you also get a quick sort of speed set up, uh, setup guide so everything in there to tell you exactly how to set things up if we go back to the box you can see that we get a few accessories inside so we have uh, a dual 6-pin PCI Express adapter to an 8-pin PCI Express adapter, just in case your power supply hasn't got the relevant uh, cables on there. You also get some Asus Republica Gamers uh, Velcro cable ties as well, which are always handy. And then obviously the graphics card itself in an anti-static bag. So if we open this up, it gives us a first glimpse of the card itself. So if I move some stuff out of the way, we can talk about it in a little bit more detail. So you can see the card itself sports a triple fan design, uh, one with the Republica Gamers logo on here, one with the Asus logo, and another one with the Republica Gamers logo. It has got various LEDs on it as well. We've got Strix logo, and then the Republica Gamers logo here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that actually lights up with LEDs. So once you set the stuff through the AuraSync profile on your software on the computer, you'll be able to change the color of this. You get a full view of the dual heatsink design. And over this side, you can see where the power delivery is, which is two 8-pin PCI Express power connectors. On the back plate, you can see the Republica Gamers logo over here, which once again is full RGB and this lights up. And then, uh, I don't know if you can actually see it that well on the camera, but it says a Zeus here and Strix there. So just some nice branding. Now, I know everyone's going to be really interested in this because it's a, a bit of a nerdy thing. So I'm going to see if I can actually uh, peel the uh, sticker off because you know we, we all love that and probably not because I had my nails done the other day but manliest thing said ever but here we go guys I'll do it nice and slow for you gotta love that sound so there you go and this gives you a full view of the back plate which is really really nice it had has kind of a, a brushed uh, kind of aluminium I guess uh, feel to it but yeah it does it really really nice and then you get kind of a view of the back of the core uh, other than that there's not really much else to say about it obviously the back plate does kind of stem along and you have this uh, supporting bar there as well just to kind of support uh, the graphics card so you you get limited amount of sag when it's actually in your case on the back you can see it's a dual cooler design but it is sort of just over two uh, two slots just because of the cooler it kind of comes out just a little bit extra but you have a dvi connection uh, two DisplayPort and two HDMI connections, and a few ventilation holes as well. Other than that, really, guys, there's not really much else I can say about this in an unboxing. We are going to have a full review on this, so be sure to check that out. That's going to be on the YouTube channel, as well as a full written review, which will be over on eTechnics.com. So that's really all I can say about this on this really, really quick unboxing of the Asus Strix 
uh, Republica Gamers Strix Radeon RX Vega 64. So remember to subscribe, like, and give us a thumbs up and comment on this video, and we will see you in the next one. Until then, see you later.